want to catch some fish. We got to get some food into us so we got energy to make it down the hill. Yeah! Woo! My first fish on a fly rod in, oh, probably 20, maybe even 25 years. Woo! I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Canadian Rocky. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. Good morning. It is day 7. Shelter seemed to do okay. It's about almost six o'clock in the morning. I had to bury my legs in uh, pine boughs so I could stay warm. The hot rocks underneath kept me warm, and uh, I was, uh, I had to get up at like 1.30 and get three more hot rocks to put in here. But that wasn't that hard. Snuggled back in. Yeehaw, got another day of adventure up. Do some fishing and then head back out of here down the uh, the scree and I don't know two or three four miles back to uh, our camp that we had to leave since we got stuck up here so let's go see how Greg's doing Barely hurting. Oh, yeah. Still got the fire going. Well, I didn't even sleep. I just. It's kind of. I'm just trying to keep warm. Yeah. It sucks. This turned out to be quite the harrowing adventure we did not plan. No. Wow. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. It's too dangerous to try to hike out, and then my legs were too sore anyway. But it would have been nice to have been more prepared. Mmm. We survived so far. Oh wow! <laughs> I knew we'd probably survive, but just, just not fun. Yeah, I've seen the fish already surfacing, so well, that's good. Yeah, well, I mean, it did pretty good yesterday, but. Yeah. I could have kept going. I mean, I let that pink one go. And yeah. Well, right over here in the creek, there's still those same fish. Yeah. And well, maybe we, we just uh, like a, a worm and a hook and just boom, drop it on the bottom, and yeah. there's just so many of them. Yeah. But I hiked all the way up here on my fly rod. I want to try it out. Well, we made it through the night. We didn't get eaten by grizzlies. No, I, so I knew that wouldn't that, be an issue. That's a good thing. Uh -huh. Wow. They, you know, they would, they smell the fire, so they know we're here, right? So, I mean, a mother with cubs particularly is going to avoid us because they try to avoid conflict if they can. I mean, they don't, they're not looking for trouble usually. But yeah, I'm not into hiking to that other lake. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm good with that. I just want to get out of here. What a miserable slog through the bush it was just to get to this last, uh, you yeah, know, I know, 50 yards to the... You know? Yep. Right to where we are now. But I don't think I'll ever come back. Yeah. But I mean I'm glad we came and I'm glad we had this little experience. We'll we'll look back and watch the video and remember it all, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like it's always neat down the road to yeah. think back, but 
Yeah, like, it's not like fun darn, at the that time. was so much more fun. Yeah, not fun at the time. Darn, that looks so much more fun on video than it really oh, was. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I remember that. That wasn't fun at all. Oh man, can't see it. Not with my camera. Greg's getting his camera out, but right up here, there's a whole string of goats, all the way up there. The little specks. I'm putting a clip from Greg's video. Holy cow, that's a long ways up. We heard rocks falling all the way over on the other side somewhere. It's because they're up there kicking some rocks off. Just chilling on the cliff. Just chilling out there on the cliff way up high. Okay, I had a bite. It was warmer in my bed until I got up, and now it's like chilled to the bone, but I want to catch some fish. We got to get some food into us, so we got energy to make it down the hill. And uh, so far, the only thing that seems to be successful up here is Greg's little uh, map spinner here, the pink on it, single hook and a worm. fish left from yesterday when Greg caught his limit right after we got here. I'm gonna roast it up. I tried to get him to eat it, but he just wants to get some rest. I don't blame him. Time to pack up and get out of here. It's so cold, we're not catching any fish. There's a creek right where it comes out, and we saw, I saw like 30 fish in there on our way up, and it's only like a foot deep, so we can fish, deliver our bait right to the, the fish, and we'll be more likely to catch them. We're cold and tired. And it'd be nice to get down off this mountain, but we want to catch our limit. We don't want to waste this whole trip. We've put a lot into this. So, packing up the shelter. The bag for the, uh, the bag for the, the tarp I made mean, such a great pillow. I mean, I just filled it. It was like sleeping on a potpourri bag. The, uh, it's just all full of the spruce boughs. And then my, had my shemag over top and I was just like, the stream where it starts coming out of the lake. And this is where I saw the most fish the other day. Oh, right, right there is a couple. And uh, right over, right over there.
fight. Ah, oh, that was great on a fly. My first fish on a fly rod in, oh, probably 20, maybe even 25 years. Woo, that's awesome. I'm so excited. Now I gotta catch five more, that's my limit. Yeehaw. What a beautiful little fish. Hiked all the way up in here just for this. That was totally worth it. Now I gotta get five more. Beautiful. Little cutthroat cutties. Oh man. Let them get away now. <laughs> oh shoot, I shouldn't have squeezed him. He's got eggs. Or she's got eggs. I accidentally squeezed her. And uh, that would be a tasty treat. Alright, let's see if we can get four more. Maybe all of these that are in here are spawning, so they have eggs. That would be a healthy treat. These are, uh, see if I can show you. Little eggs, but they're of a good size. All right, let's see if I can get my four more. Messy hands. <laughs> one fish and only one tangle. That's not too bad. I like this little pole. This is a little Ella Bean pole I had built for me for this trip. They're the uh, Streamlight Ultra, Ultra Light 2 or whatever it is. And uh, it's short so you can get into little places. I hope to do more of this. I haven't done fly fishing for years. I made a million flies. Right here you can see my fly boxes. And I enjoyed making them more than I did fishing. I never seemed to catch our, you know, fish when I was playing around with fly fishing in Vermont. So. All right, I picked out a new fly. This one's got pink on top. Since Greg's lure with the pink on top seemed to work so well, I thought I'd try this little one. Woohoo! Another one. Little one. All right. Yeah. Look at this one. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's see if I can catch my limit. I got two. Oh, it's not huge, but we are hungry, and that's the name of the game. This is catch and cook survival, and that's uh, and that's legal. So we're gonna keep her. Let's see if we can get three more. And number five. beautiful fish. Uh, I managed to catch one when the camera's off but the battery's blinking and dying on me. There's a little last beautiful little fish number five. I caught more with this one with a little pink top on it. I don't know what it's called and it kept <laughs> after the first uh, two fish I caught on it it kept sinking to the bottom. So yeehaw there's five. 
Let's go catch up with Greg. He's, I think he's down, down, the, down the river sunbathing somewhere. <laughs> all right, all five of them. Not, not too big, but hey, that'll, they'll eat, they'll eat. Found Greg and the sun. Holy moly, it's hot out here. What a difference that valley in there is. Like, just holds the cold in, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty chilly in there. Yikes. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender When you were meant to survive With every star We are born again enough of a nap I guess it's time to head back down all the way so watch that first step it's a doozy at least it's all downhill but unfortunately it's all downhill so it's steep it's steep 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 it's a long ways down since we decided to go places that only goats dare to tread for the most part yeah, it's it's steep. My legs are sore. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Well, we got to get back down. We can't we stay. Get, can't stay up here. Can't stay up here oh. forever. No. All right, all right, let's do it. It's like almost dizzying. That's the edge right there, and there's the waterfall going off. I had to uh, put my better camera away so they don't lose it, and uh, or if I took a tumble, at least hopefully my camera survives and my footage so you guys can have a good memorial service. <laughs> Enough of that, let's get down here. We've made it to the actual really hairy carry goat trail. Greg's already started out. And oh, I see it going over there and over there. Last time we came up right here and we noticed it going that way. So hopefully this brings us down a little smoother pathway. So awesome.
Taking a little respite, about halfway there. So much easier than going up it. Oh yeah. All right, we made it down. All the way along here, down and over and I don't know, somewhere through all of this. And we did it. And now we just gotta make it to over there. Long way. I'm delirious with uh, hunger and, and exhaustion. Can't wait to make it back to our hammocks in the truck. A little grouse. Almost attacked Greg. Jumped out at him. Oh, we got a black bear. So it's not gonna look too good on the phone. Yeah. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, he just noticed us. Just nibbling and walking. Finally seen a black bear. Oh, we're about dying come up the hill. All we have to do is make it right to there. And we've come all the way from way over there. Way. I'm using my cell phone because my good camera's in my backpack. I just can't get it out. All the way over there. And my, my Samsung Galaxy watch underneath there it says seven miles. And just in our last couple steps, what do we find? Mushrooms. Where else? Yeah. Nice mushrooms. Interesting. Who knows how many more there are around well, there here? Could be some more. Back at camp, everything appears to be just how we left it. Go for stew, still sitting there. Sweet. After our ordeal, seven miles hike down from the upper lake and all the way back to here and then up that that cut area. But we did find mushrooms. We both need a break. Greg didn't sleep at all. Yeah, so we're gonna take a nap. And then we'll be back in time for dinner. <laughs> oh, that was a nice nap. It's like nine o'clock. It's still light out here. I love that. It could be like still light out. But I can hear Greg up. I don't know about our gopher. It's been sitting there and there's little slits in the lid so a fly or two is in the liquid. It's kind of gross. I don't know. We gotta decide what to do with all that. You know, normally I've every 24 hours or so I reheat any stew or whatever and bring it to a boil and and eat it. Anything would be sanitized if we cooked it to a boil. But it doesn't mean it will be good. We can sanitize it, but it could end up being really disgusting and taste rotten. I don't know. We gotta make some food and then go back to bed. No, I know, because it's been sitting in the heat. Yeah, we don't have curry to, like, kill the flavor of rotten gopher. This flies all on the top of the water, so... Ugh. It's just kind of not uh, it's a loss. appetizing. It's a loss. Yeah, I know. Things happen. We... Yep. We we're planning on a day trip, but it turned into two days, so. Yeah. Let's chuck it and start over. That's that's yeah. shameful. I was really looking forward to those gophers, but. Uh, that's too bad. My feet are so tender. If you're going to be out, like, straight up hiking all day long, you need to change the socks so you can air out your socks and your feet so they don't get... Uh, 
sore like this because that was way too long to be. I thought to bring them and I almost brought my second pair of socks and I didn't and I regret that for sure because now the bottom of my feet are tender. I'll go away within 24 hours as long as you keep maintaining and taking care of them, but not fun. That's a, that was my one hard thing about the whole hike is my feet being like sore and tender by the end of the whole thing. Look at that darn rabbit just sitting there teasing me. It's like, wouldn't I go good with some morel mushrooms and some cow parsnip and some adobo? Oh yeah, but you can't eat me. This is in rabbit season. No, I'm not on the menu. Laugh it up, Fluffy. Laugh it up. All right, there it is. Here's our dinner. We've got dock, cow parsnip, and our, can't operate my chopsticks while looking at the camera. Our morel mushrooms, they look like brains, huh? <laughs> Yummy. It's a good amount of food. I'm gonna put on black and white so you can see the exact amount. It's like that's a good amount of veggies from foraging right there. Oh, I am excited for this. Oh. Lord, thank you for this food, this forage food and the fish. And then we made it back alive. Oh my goodness. Help us get a good night's rest and uh, we can get out at it again tomorrow. Just name amen. Greg's saying the uh, stuff's pretty bitter. It is, yeah. All of it? We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I believe him, but I think Wadobo fixes pretty much everything, so. <laughs> well, of course. It's just like duct tape. <laughs> duct tape you can eat. Wadobo. Oh, those mushrooms. So good. Oh, I was prepared for the dock to be worse. You were? Yeah, it's not, that's not bad. Yeah, not bitter, just kind of. Holy cow, that one was bitter. The mushrooms are delicious. Mm -hmm. That's good. Those are so meaty. Mm -hmm. They taste like, like these taste like you have having little bites of meat. Yeah, exactly. You got those grays too, eh? Did you get some? No, let me try oh. a gray. I, I just, I only had two mushrooms, but. Oh, well, here, have some more. I just want to taste one. Here's a big one. Okay, one more. Thanks. Mm hmm. What a guy giving me all the mushrooms. Well, you found them. Hmm. The mushrooms are definitely the treat in this whole feast. It's yes, like, they are. Yeah, for sure. Um, they did absorb some of the uh, cow parsnip flavor, but. Not enough to ruin it or anything. Like a cow parson, but I feel like it has a touch of, um, I think it was like fragrance to it. Eating perfume. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was gonna say, like, uh, he, like you got walked in front of the, one of the perfume booths at like TJ Maxx and they sprayed you in the mouth, you know? Like, yeah. would you like to try this? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Thanks. All right, I am in. Didn't even eat my fish. The veggies turned out to be just enough since I'm just so, just so beaked, you know? Let the fish smoke overnight would be even better for breakfast. The more you smoke your fish before you cook them, um, the better. Uh, I know this afternoon part has been super boring probably, unless I've found some way during the editing to add in a bunch of skits or something that I know made it more interesting. So thanks for watching and sticking in this far. For those of you that did, uh, I am beat. I smell like the backside of a bantha. Sorry about that, bantha. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go to bed and get up with some energy. It would be nice, so nice here sleeping in my hammock. Yesterday was fun, but uh, oy vey, right? So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Fowler out.